Smoking the views of a flick. I'm Will I Am Defoe, aka Big Willie Style. Got Ryan Jerobi in the building with me. You already know me. And we're here to talk about Netflix's Silverton Siege. Now, I don't know about you, Ryan. But I've literally heard no one talk about this movie. I ain't hear about it till you told me. So we will be doing a kind of non spoilerish review. We won't be giving away like no big no big secrets and this about the movie. But we will talk about it though. The movie was kinda like I don't know if they said it was a true story or loosely based on three fr- real I think it said of, I think it said inspired. Inspired by, yeah, by a yeah. true story. So take with that what you may. Mm-hmm. Kind of like one in time, but I don't even know if you could consider that inspired. I don't. I don't even know really with that. But with Silverton, with Silverton Siege, this movie was directed by Mandela Dup Dubé, Duby. I think it's Dubé. Dubé, yeah. Sabello Giddy was the writer. Yeah, but he wrote the movie, or she wrote the movie. Um, the two stars of the movie you have. Toby Rometsi. To Bo. To Bo. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you also, the the woman in the movie is. Nazolo. That's what it said. That's how I said on, it was pronounced. Naxolo. Now the X is pronounced with a Z, so it's Nazolo. Delami. Delamini. Yeah, Delamini is right. Okay. And Arnold Voslo. Everybody, well, I ain't going to say everybody know Arnold Voslo like he just is. Like he Will Smith or something, mm-hmm. but we've all seen him. We we've all seen him in, in multiple movies, at least more than one movie. Um, the latest GI Joe series. I keep wanting to say this nigga was in the Matrix, but <laughs> he <laughs> but looked, he what man? He looked so familiar. But that's because oh yeah. Once you look up, once you start seeing the movies that he was in, you're gonna be like okay, but. He, cause in GI Joe, this nigga played Man, a whole dude, whistling nigga. He was the mummy in the mummy. Yes. Okay. He, yeah. He was on Dark Man. I don't know if people know if y'all hipped on Dark Man, but yeah, he was on Dark Man. He did a lot yeah, of like Egyptian movies. The nigga little been in everything. A little yeah. bit of everything, really. He did voiceovers for DC. Mm-hmm. But this movie is about. A freedom fighter group in American apart—I mean, not American, African apartheid. Their leaders have pretty much been either been jailed or have been sent out of the country. So they're pretty much the young people in the group have pretty much taken for themselves and start and start causing havoc mm-hmm. and destruction for the country to to pretty much. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Disable, dismantle the government, yeah. pretty much. So, do you, do you know exactly what an apartheid is? Because I don't. I meant to look. I think it up, it's, I, it's, I think it's pretty much an uprising, pretty much. Um, I don't want to say a takeover, but like, yeah, an uprising, pretty much. Or, or um, what's it? The better word to use for segregation on grounds other than race. <laughs> I was just oh a policy or system of segregation and mm. discrimination. Okay, so the opposite of the uprising. Yeah, the cause yeah, of it. Yeah, they, yeah, they the the reason why they was uprising was because of the apartheid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so and which this part is where the movie kind of surprised me because I thought it would go into like. A little, at least a little bit into their entire journey, um, in the in the freedom fighting, but we um we end up at we end up at a failed mission and we end up at a bank, mm-hmm. and the movie pretty much jumps off from there. Yeah. So, Ron, I'm gonna ask you what what you think about this movie. I like this movie a whole lot. Uh. My girl daughter was saying like, "Oh yeah, I seen this movie. It was trash." And I'm like, "Why you say that?" She's like, "Cause they don't do nothing. But they just be in the bank the whole time." And I'm like, "Okay." I said, "Okay." Let me see what this movie talking about. I was about. not expecting that either. I was not expecting them to be in the bank the whole time either. I will say that. 
I mean, the only reason I knew because she told me, and I'm just like, damn, she kind of gave that one away from me. But yeah, I, I thought at some point they would get out the bank. <laughs> <laughs> some point in the I mean, movie, I knew when they if they got out the bank, it wasn't gonna be good for them if they got out. <laughs> I mean, considering how they got to the bank. No, I'm gonna tell y'all when SWAT pull up, it look all bad. Yeah. If, I'm gonna tell like you, this, it if they had a all back bad. entrance, if they had a if they had a back exit, they could be yeah, out yeah. of there, no problem. Especially and which is crazy to me, like, come on, y'all don't have no back way out. Yeah, but I'm hearing banks don't have back ways. Back way, my bank got a back way. I'm about to say, I'm sure every. <laughs> I think every building has to have two exits. I think that's like mm. a fire law, like a fire safety thing. I think well maybe back then maybe they didn't have it. Maybe well, there they was didn't have one to. scene that I, I I was show like where is that lady going? Remember when she was trying to get move that refrigerator? Yeah, but but that's because they there wasn't a back exit. Cause nah, I, that was that was the bathroom. She had already went to the bathroom. No, I think that was her moving it back. Oh. She or, knew that refrigerator. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, man. she. I mean, she looked like Ags, she was Ags Mandela. She looked like she had like a little muscle on her, but and she looked like she had a lot of muscle on her. <laughs> <laughs> but what what was the point of barricading the bathroom? See, you if you you about to. You about to lead me oh, into a I'm spoiler. Oh, I'm tripping. Now exactly. I know why you about to lead me you're into right, a right. spoiler. You're right. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. You're right. You're right. They didn't want nobody to get into the bathroom. It wasn't barricaded at first. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't barricaded at first. Shout out to the light-skinned community. <laughs> yeah, I need Man, they should have got Clayton English to play the light-skinned dude. They, they could have, too. The light-skinned dude in, they, in the movie. What is it? But can he do a South African accent? Stephen Aramis. They could have had. They could have had Clayton English they play have. his part, but it seemed like most of the people in the movie was African or French or something. The the character he played got the same last name as him. Huh? He might be related to that man. <laughs> Maybe, but they probably just used his last name because I don't think they ever said his last name in the movie. So they probably just put his last name on there, to be honest, probably. Whoever Shane is got the same last name. Nah. Calvin last name. Nah, Shane Shane is Wellington, and his last name is Washington. Oh, that is? um, My bad. That is just like, that's two different. It's the TV too far, bro. (laughs) Yeah, I was, but I was supposed to be zooming in. But, uh, yeah, I thought the movie was good. It was hella good to me. Uh... I like, like I said, I like to hit before before we start. I like the historical aspects of it. Um, yeah, I don't think this is how they really got Mandela released, was it? I don't th- no, because he wasn't released for another ten years, right? <laughs> but so. I don't think they released them in the movie. They didn't. <laughs> They weren't gonna release them. Release him? Hell no. Once he got to that, I'm like, oh no, this nigga tripping. Hey, but. He knew he was like, hey, we got to get something out of this. If I was one of the two people working with this, working with him, I would have been like, yeah, no, nah, this nigga wild. It was one that did that. <laughs> we got to get up out of here. It was one wilding. that did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. But, From the jump. Yeah, yeah. But she was getting off. She yeah, was, she was She was, She was. was tearing some shit up. Yeah she, yeah, she was. From the jump, she was tearing shit off. From the yeah, jump. she can, she's she probably my favorite reason. character in the in the in the movie. Yeah, she Man. she is my favorite character in the movie. Probably, I would say, yeah. Um, but yeah, I really I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it was I will say that the movie was predictable, and maybe being based on the true story, maybe maybe that has something to do with it. Um, it was a but it was a few parts in the show that was predictable that I saw coming. Um. It was a couple. Can writing. you talk about some of them without spoiling? Mm, not really, but I will say, can't really say. There that. was money in them bags. I saw. Had, right? I 
I don't know what bags. The bags that they was holding first, when they was running away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will say the pilot, I saw that coming. The both parts. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about <laughs> both parts. I saw both them part with the first part easy to see that. Yeah. yeah, like they're not finna just and he was hella big too. Yeah, but like, we, oh, that finna, ain't really that ain't really a spoiler. Yeah, they ain't he, they, they like, ain't finna just let them niggas go. Right. <laughs> yeah. But uh the second pilot scene, I didn't see what the pilot said, I didn't see that coming. But after he yeah, said no, it, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. knew what was finna go yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the big thing I saw that coming. I was like, I was like, yeah. Yeah. Or the end. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah. big the big spoiler of the movie, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's about right. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Really? The only reason, well, and I'm sorry, but but just you gotta watch the movie to see what it is that we're talking about. Yeah, we don't really want to spoil it. Well, I don't really care, but I'm I'm not trying don't to spoil, spoil it. it. I'm I'm cool with it either way. But you know what? I ain't gonna say I didn't. Well, I didn't see it coming. Well, no, cause we knew. Yeah, we knew. We knew, but we just didn't know. Cause they said, yeah, that we didn't know who. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah. That's about right. <laughs> That's about right. <clears throat> when they was running down there, when when they cut through that where all them stores was at, and he just mysteriously dropped his bag, I'm like, at first I'm like, this dummy, how you dropped the bag? But at the end, I'm like, oh, he dropped it on purpose. <laughs> and they straight came back. Damn, from I wish this was a. That straight came back. I'm gonna mess dude. around and bleep this out. As soon as he said that we gonna get you home to your two year old or your kids, I was like, "Is this nigga? <laughs> it's him." I was like, "If dude, but dude gonna either betray him or if he didn't already turn to me or something." But yeah. it's him. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a bleep all that out. But um, but yeah, but like I was saying, outside of a couple of. Outside of a couple of predictable things and a couple of writing choices that I might might have not have made, but I I really enjoyed watching this movie. I was touched by this movie a little bit. I was like, damn, they. It, I wonder, like the who was the group that really went through all this, and they showed us a yeah, picture. So they showed us the at end. the end who they were. And did they turn the woman? Um, Character was a Solo. Well, yeah, did they? Do. I, I thought it, it looked like three dudes to me. Yeah, it looked like I didn't want to be disrespectful. Yeah, but, it looked like it was three dudes. Yeah. But what's her name on the show? Hmm? Tara Mushu. Mbali, Tara. Tara Mbunda. Mbumba. I wonder. Mbunda. See, I don't. With the name Tara, I, I don't know. Like that, you can, because. I don't know. With the character's name, unless they Mbali. change the name. Kind of sound like he could be a male or a female, but yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised if they. Nah, they um they probably kept the names the same. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't you know change all of the names. Well, a few of the names. Like Christine, I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't her real name. Christine was the uh, bank manager, right? Yeah, the white woman. Yeah. yeah, the white woman. Yeah, um, I I liked her character in the in the show. I mean, in the movie. Um, uh, what what she stood for and what she represent represented. I thought a little bit more was gonna come from that, but I saw why they. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, nah, dude, wow. What I think it'd be, what you talking about? <laughs> I mean. So at the beginning, when 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 oh, uh, okay. with the when the American walked in, the black dude walked in with a suitcase on his uh, wrist. It's supposed to be a boxing promoter or somebody. I about to say, was he supposed to be Don King? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think so. Hey, but somebody he out there got like a, it. somebody out there got to ask Don King. Have he been involved in a robbery in Africa? Yeah, 
But well, it really wasn't a robbery, but they ain't stealing yeah, no true, money. Yeah, true, true. He saved in the trailer. This is not a robbery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, but uh, when dude was like, "You in the wrong line," he was like, "What are you talking about? I got the money." And dude said, "This is a whole white line." Keep in mind, I didn't even know there's that many white people in South Africa. They have their own white line, but whatever. Yeah. Um. The lady came over. Was like, he like, I you didn't tell me he was black. She was like, I didn't know I had to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> He was hella mad when he said, she was like, what? <laughs> what you expect? Since the 80s. Oh, no, 70s or 60s exactly. or something. So, uh, exactly. Because I would I, I liked her character, too. I, I like what she stood for. She wasn't all prejudiced and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she, she represented. That's probably, <laughs> that's probably the reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what's crazy, her nanny... Oh, that black slave. It, yeah, it took me to the end of the movie. I'm like, damn, that's straight they damn slave. Yeah. I'm like, Basically. damn. Basically. I'm like, I didn't even think about it. I'm like, man. I mean, was like, they slave? Like, was that a slave? Was that a slave? No, I think they just, I don't think those well, were slave. Probably by the end it wasn't, but I'm talking yeah. about like back in the day because Christine looked like she was about in her 20s. Yeah. And that was in... What 78, 79, 80. Oh, oh, you talking about the lady that was outside? Yeah, that's oh. what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, I was funny. I thought she was gonna die because she was trying her hardest to like when she saw Christine, she was like, No, she was <laughs> running away from the uh, the cop. I'm like, You better stay where you at, lady. They already don't like black people, yeah. especially the snipers. Them snipers Man. was ready to go when they when the when the police force. Which I was a little confused on that. Who did Arnold Voslo p- play? I mean, not play for, but who was he representing versus what the the little other chief? The lieutenant. Dude, yeah, the, the lieutenant, lieutenant ass nigga walked in. Yeah, his punk ass. Yeah. What was he representing? I thought he was like the army, like part of the army or something, or whatever they hired military is what was. So you think he the police chief, um, Arnold, well, Johan was the police chief and the other dude is, like you say, the military, kind of. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what yeah, I thought. Okay. Cause he was yeah, because they did come in with the big truck. Arnold was with yeah. Interpol, wasn't he? Maybe that's what it was. Maybe he was with Interpol. He was with Interpol, I thought. And then... Yeah. Uh, he didn't seem like he was very racist either, though. He didn't seem like he was. He just felt like he oh, was yeah, on nah. the side of the law, like yeah, no. Nah. But I don't uh, think he was him slimy or, still, though. Him or his partner was. Oh no, nah, nigga! Yeah, when, yeah, when these, <laughs> <laughs> these guys are black, they looked at each other like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it's like that's that shit crazy. That nigga said something one time. Both of them looking Look, at him like, "What is you the serious? fuck?" Like, it was, it was, like you did you thought, just say that? Yeah. He was giving it up. He was like, hey, nah. we do not care about these motherfuckers. Let's get them At off. At all. Let's kill, get all them. kill all of them. Dude was like, we had it been up to that Army dude, they would have right. been shot. And you know what? Had it been up to the Army dude, everybody in there would have died. Which, well, I, I ain't going to say which everybody died. But at the end, everybody don't die. And he still get what he want. Yeah. They still rushed in there yeah. the way he wanted to. I mean, he rushed in there. <laughs> Them niggas, the first group that rushed in there, I don't think they wanted to rush in there like that. But nigga, if you ask me, and you know them was black people. I would have even never set foot out there. Like, did, did you did you, did y'all not know there was snipers out there? I wouldn't have either. Like, I would have sent whoever I was going to send out there. Well, I guess they had to make sure they ain't run away, but but that's why they took the precaution of having a person in front of them because right. they didn't think that. Well, they trained not to shoot if somebody in front of the in front of the line of fire. Man, them snipers, bro they they can they can hit you. They can hit their target from any. It don't matter who in front of. Them. Not all of them. Well, I mean. As we, as but when you, you watch d- the movie, but you also see. when you dealing with 
when you not in an army situation, a war situation is different. Yeah, with some, when, you, when you got civilians and yeah. hostages and, you know yeah. what I'm saying, involved, I guess it is different. But yeah, it, it's, it's different. Like I told them, I, we, I was watching the movie with, if I was a sniper, and Mark, <laughs> I, I feel like I seen plenty of openings. Yeah, for them me to too. Die. No, me too. For them to yeah. die. Like, I'm like, why they not taking the shot? Yeah. Because dude was telling them don't take it, but yeah. what was the point? I don't, I don't get. I don't get why he didn't want them to die. Well, as a human, he probably just didn't want them to yeah, die. Yeah, he didn't but, want to kill them. I mean, but hey, they got what? He was a good cop. Fifteen hostages in there. They heard gunshots inside. They True. know what had happened. True. Somebody would have had to go down. <laughs> but, Especially uh, after I go in there and go try to negotiate, and I, and I see one of y'all die. But I do wonder if. If he felt like that before they had they talk, which they have a powerful talk on the steps outside the bank um, that I really enjoyed listening to. Um, Arnold when, he Arnold. Ad, when he asked him, what's the cost of freedom? Yeah. And the white man was like, shit, I don't know. And then dude was like everything. Exactly. That was afterwards, though. That was That's after a- they burnt the second set of money, wasn't it? I don't think so. Because I think that's when they told him that they wanted uh, Mandela free. I think. I think that was at the same time, I think. But I wonder if dude was on that don't shoot him, don't kill him before the end. I can't remember what his what his. I know when he was. first came out, he kept telling them. he When they first came out, he was telling them don't shoot until I get a word. But I feel like at the fire. beginning of the fire. movie, he wouldn't have been like that. He would have started shooting. I mean, the, it wasn't the like that. Did you see what movie. happened? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So at some point, he got, me, yeah, he changes. He changed. He got sympathetic. Yeah. So. Man, what point? What point was that then? It had to be after uh. After that, it had, only part I could think of is that little talk. That's the only part I could think of where yeah. he might have changed. But mm. I hated that uh character that the 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 black lady that was hella light, the one that got caught moving the refrigerator. And I ain't gonna lie. Up until I went on IMDb, IMDb before this before this review. Thought she had makeup on? I thought that was all makeup. No. Nah. That's that's a. I wanted to say albino, but her hair was black. Yeah, yeah I don't. I, yeah, think, I think, she think she just she was, was hella light skin. Man, it in Africa the shades be different, bro. Like yeah. they literally it's every shade of black person out there, mm-hmm. and it was crazy that the white people couldn't tell. Even the white people in line couldn't even tell that. Like they didn't make her get out the line. Was well, she had that yeah, blonde nah. wig on or whatever? But no, nah, they didn't. You do know, like, but, well, she had but every she, other black feature, though. But she said that she goes through that. So people, it's some white people that can still tell because oh, yeah. she said that she goes through the um, the whole, she get it from both sides, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Which I didn't feel bad for. Like, yeah, I mean, no, I didn't feel bad for her either because like, she was one up. of them bougie, when in the beginning, she still was got one full of them bougie. Lips. You still got the nose, mm-hmm. the body, and on top of that, your parents had bread. That's why yeah. she was there at the bank anyway. Exactly. See, and that's why I thought that it was going to be makeup because it seemed like they was trying to make it to where she was trying to be white. She kind of looked like she had makeup on. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's she how did her skin look like she had makeup on. That's it looked like looked. if they rubbed her too hard enough, yeah. it would straight come right off. That's like, what I thought was going to end up happening. I thought the, the, the black chick was going to end up like, you know what I'm saying? Licking her finger or something just going across her or face. Or smacking her or some shit. Yeah. It, it does, it's but I, I wonder if, like, because they was giving, like, uh, Calvin was saying little stuff to her, like, these mm-hmm. people really know who you are type shit. I'm like, how they not getting what they saying? Like, I was like, this, this is crazy. I think they did by that point. I think they did, but they just wouldn't. Yeah. They just wouldn't. It's bigger things here at the moment, mm-hmm. in which I thought that the the bank manager or the owner, whoever that nigga was, I would I would have had to pop him. 
Yeah, he'd have been popped as soon as I got the gun out of his hand. Yeah, but I would have had to pop him. It was because he pissed with he's pissed with the old boy. Like, <laughs> shut up, pow, <laughs> light skin nigga. <laughs> he sure did. He sure did. Yeah, but he was just to me. He was. He was. I ain't like how he was acting. He was acting like Calvin. A, no, the light skinned boy. Oh yeah, yeah. He just. I just. I'm like, damn. This whole time he tripping, and yeah. I don't know why. Like, that was just red flags to me. It was a red flag to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? From but the I, beginning, because he was just tripping. He froze outside. He froze. Shit, he froze inside. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's kind of why I wish that they went a little bit further into the whole freedom fighting thing and not just about this one situation. Mm-hmm. Because I would have liked to see what type of person was he like on other missions. Because did, we, did I ask you if there was money in them bags? Mm-hmm. Was that money? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. But when that mission is, it basically, the movie basically start off with <laughs> failing the mission. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, uh, I don't know. Did they even show? Because I don't recall. I mean, I don't think they showed it. They didn't show them hit whatever building it was, did they? Nope. I ain't nah, think they so. didn't show that. They just showed them walking away from that. And then the movie start. Right? Yeah. Then they, uh, I don't know how he picked out the, the, that them was undercovers all around him like that. Like, mm. he said, black woman smoking in the open? I don't know about that. <laughs> what? You can't even smoke a cigarette over there as a black person? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I mean, <laughs> over there, smoke. but I don't. But I mean, I it was saying, a couple. I don't of, think they could over here. It was shit, a, cu- at a certain point. But I'm saying it was a couple of black people around there all under undercovers. Yeah. So the cigarette, I, I guess the cigarette gave it away then. I mean. And then he was noticing how all the, how all the, I think it was some a group of black people talking to a group of white people. And he was like, all right. Yeah, it was just a bunch it, of fishy stuff was, going Yeah, on. it was just too much going on. He was like, all right, we'd have been through enough do you situations. Think, it's like, all right. Do you think, uh, so when they was running from them at, at the one point, he, he had to stop and hit his in hell. Mm-hmm. Do you think that should have ever came back? Come on, we, we got to. <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> Dude, ain't hit, he ain't had to, he ain't need to inhale it no more the, the damn day. He was. No, nah, he did. I mean, he ain't had to use it. Yeah, he did. did well, it? he didn't have it. I don't say he ain't have it, though, did he? No, nah, he didn't have it, but he needed that motherfucker. <laughs> that nigga was going through it in that bank. Yeah. It felt like. But yeah, he just kept doing different shit to get over it, I guess. I don't know. That's yeah, he didn't crazy. have that motherfucking inhaler. Having asthma got to be trash. Yeah, they got to be trash. Uh, see, you got to think about that shit when you're a freedom fighter. Mm-hmm. You can't be say. having to hit your inhaler in the middle of a fight. Like, <laughs> Dude, because <laughs> like, he really should have been caught. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, nah, he should have, for he real. should have been caught. I would have been like, it would be crazy if they killed this nigga off right here. Man. <laughs> like, he was the main nigga in the trailer. Man. <laughs> I ain't even watch the trailer. I just went straight to the movie when you sent it. Nah, okay. But uh, what would you grade this movie? Uh, I give it a B minus. B minus. Like you said, there's a few choices in here. I'm like, I mean, it's probably I'm sure they ain't having much of a budget. Mm-hmm. But uh, the not his, a no budget. The hist- <laughs> yeah, the historical uh aspect of it, I like that a lot. Uh, yep. I yep. like the fact that it kept my attention from the beginning to the end. Yeah, yeah, it did. Because yes, it I was because at the beginning. That, and that's another reason why I'm like, damn, this whole movie finna be in the bank. Because she said, when when my uh, girl daughter said, this movie trash, they gonna be in the bank the whole time. I thought that was gonna be in the bank from the very beginning. I didn't know they was gonna go back. I'm like, damn, bro, in the very beginning? I'm like, what kind of, what, how they gonna spin this? Mm-hmm. But then it flashed back. I'm like, all right, cool. Now, nah, that's, that's a little better show us how they got there. Yeah. Because I thought they was gonna rob the bank uh, from the beginning. Until they got, you know what I'm saying? Until we seen what was happening, what unfolded. But, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I say B minus. Uh, it's a lot of stuff in there. Like the inhaler part, I'm like, bro, he should have been caught. Yeah. Um, the snipers, actually, them being outside. Like every time they went outside, bro, I felt like it was an opening for them to get killed. And well, if it if was you up was to gonna, the colonel, 
They would have. Yeah, but I mean, you you seen what happened. If that was gonna happen, they might as well have took the shots. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When they was out True. there. True. <laughs> Dude, but uh, sweet. <laughs> you say what? <laughs> keep on going. But um, I like that. Sniper's wild boy. Yeah. He act like he he acted he he act like he didn't give a a complete damn. He just was like, I'll just. <laughs> Dude said, hey, we got you. Don't even right. worry don't about even, it. Don't even trip. Go on. Don't even worry about don't it. Don't shake it off. Go have a beer. Yeah. Um, damn, what else about this movie I was thinking of? I give it a B minus also, and I I have every sentiment that you had. I repeat every sentiment that you had. Ditto. Yeah, but that, that pilot should have been able to overpower him. <laughs> See, that pilot should have got. Ryan it. had to get that out. Ryan had no, to get that out. No, but I'm talking out. about at the, at, the, at, the, at the helicopter. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah no. At the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Dude seemed like he was kind of, you know. I figured, I'm like, I knew. Show when I saw that, when I saw that black friend. pilot, I'm like, oh, they trying to kill them. Because I'm like, why would you send a black pilot? Yeah. Keep but it, that, but that's know. but that's why dude was like a black pilot. Yeah. Okay. He he saw that it's fishy too. I would have took the I would have took the helicopter and got tried to get out of there. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. This nigga Ron would have went right into the bank. <laughs> right back in there. I'm like, oh shit, nigga. I mean, but yeah, they freedom fighters. They should know how to. Well, not really know how to pilot nothing, but <laughs> dudes say they should know how to pilot aircraft. <laughs> I mean, they got military <laughs> training, don't they? I don't um, think so. I don't. I don't. They think, man, yeah. that lady was shooting. She yeah. was shooting the AK. It wasn't no shoulder support. She was like da 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 da. But. She wasn't that strong. Shooting a gun different than flying a helicopter. I'm just saying the military training. They had to have some type of training. But I mean, gun training would look easier. To Helicopters do. don't got autopilot. Nigga, not <laughs> at that point. You gotta, you gotta get off the ground. You pull the thing back. Like I said, Ryan go in right back up in the bank. <laughs> you just pull that little hand, the, the little. The, <laughs> pull the little handle back. <laughs> yeah, pull it back, and that's how you, you go up. Everybody know that. You ain't never played one of them helicopter games at, at the arcade? Dude don't know man, one of the little switches that they be hitting, all the switches. I would have just flicked them all up. Before they do that, I dude just don't know none of that. I would just flick every switch up. <laughs> that's, Nick, come Nick on, bro. would have went right into Pete, the bank. On movies, when they, when they get in the helicopter, what's the first thing they do? Flip every switch up. It mostly aircraft. It don't be every switch. It, it be, be damn like, near. That would be like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. It be like 16 in a row. They flip all 16. I and it's one it. one with a red button. I just watched Executive Decision. <laughs> one of the best movies ever made. I don't think I saw that. With Holly Berry, Steven Seagal. Uh, uh, it's a couple other people. It's, it's more than a couple. It's hella people in this movie. And they just had to land the plane. Shit hella funny. <laughs> Shit hella funny. One of my favorite movies. And if they can land the plane, I can make a helicopter lift off. <laughs> Dude going right to the bank. I would have at least got over where they was at so I can get where. Well, if I'd have crashed, it might not have been good. But yeah, <laughs> at least you would have burned all the money then. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, any anything else you got? Uh man, just watch the movie. I wish we could have really got yeah, into watch it. it. Yeah, yeah. But it's 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 real worth to watch, man. Yeah. Especially if you into like the historical like Mandela and while he went through and all the freedom fighting he went through. You some of y'all might be already being knowledgeable of the story of these mm -hmm. three these three freedom fighters. But yeah. I wish I'd have would have thought to research to see if they really was the reason. Well, not, of course they weren't the reason. Because yeah, didn't nah. he just get out like in nineteen? In the 90s? It was like nineteen ninety. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, they they, they didn't help. They didn't help the situation. If anything, they probably the reason they kept him a little longer. <laughs> like, nigga, 
put all this. that nigga in yeah. the dirt. <laughs> put him on the dirt jail. Man. Like, it was, God, damn. After the way after the way that that colonel was acting at that bank, yeah, you know he went back to that jail and raised hell. Oh, I, I do. I got. I got one rhyme. more thing. I I, I I I appreciated them not one time hearing. I, I didn't hear the nigga word one time in this movie by nobody. Yeah, you might be right. I don't recall. I ain't heard nigga once in this movie. I didn't see niggas. I didn't see. I didn't hear nigga, and I didn't see a lot of black people die. But do they use like do they use the word nigga over there? I'm sure they do. Why? I'm sure. Why not? But I thought I thought nigga was an American thing. I mean, I thought they said it. I thought it was like a worldwide thing. Maybe not. I don't know. Or is it a European thing? I thought it was. I don't know. I thought they always did. I mean, I thought everybody who didn't like black people called them niggas. But I, but I didn't hear, no sl- hear no slurs. Period. But I think that's now though. In the eighties, in the eighties, they definitely were saying nigga. In Africa? Oh yeah, I guess they was in Africa, huh? See, that's what I'm like. Is like was they saying nigga like in Europe when they had slaves? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna have to look that shit up tonight at work. <laughs> I don't know, cause I always Cause thought thinking, <laughs> I always thought nigga was an American. Was well, funny like it came from. Now that I think about it, watching owners. Top Boy, I don't remember them saying Holy nigga. Shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Hmm. Well, maybe they just yeah. Well, me man, well, I still appreciate. I it. I think pretty much only people that say it over there is people trying to be American. Yeah. But we're not trying to copy American culture, but. You know what I mean? Somebody mm-hmm. that's trying mm-hmm. to act like black America. But, but yeah, I'm going to have to look that shit up tonight at work. Yeah, now too. I'm interested in it, <laughs> where the word nigga came from. Now that won't be the. I heard a different couple won't of different stories about this video. Where the word came from, but. like, Well, when, when I say came from, I mean, like, at what point did they start using it? Mm hmm. Like, was it American slave owners that started using it? Was they using it when slaves, before slaves got to America? Mm. I saw a story where they were saying, like, uh, it's a certain group of people that they took. I can't pronounce it, but they spelled N G A. Yeah. <laughs> They was in the white and the Europeans thought it was saying it was the word nigger. So that's why they was called them niggas. They thought it was the name of their clan. I mean, name of they, they, uh, not clan. Cause that's, that's crazy. Tribe. They mm-hmm. thought it was a tribe over there. And I can't remember how they were pronounced, but. Yeah. Clan, not crazy. Unless you're talking about the clan. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I'm saying? They call they call tribes. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was thinking, I was thinking tribes, but. But no, that sound about right. Yeah. <laughs> that sound like how some shit would start. Like, what the nigga saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I'm Will I Am Defoe, a.k.a. Big Willie Style. That's Ron Jarobi. You already know me. And that's been our review on Silverton Siege, a great African movie. Um. Yeah, but everybody a part of this movie was African, so yeah, it was an African Except for on uh, uh, Vazlo. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't. He Southern. might be he South might African. Be, shit, yeah, I think he is South it. African. I wouldn't be surprised. But well, Sarah Kozlowski, she definitely not from yeah, Africa. She, yeah, she <laughs> not. Yeah, yeah no, nah, she not at all. Or Mariska, Denishin, Denishin, however you pronounce her word. But Amanda. Whatever. Yeah, I don't remember her character. I think that was the pregnant woman. Either her or Sarah is the pregnant woman, one of them two. But, uh, yeah, that's been our review of Silverton Siege. Uh, I thought the cast did a good job. Yeah, they did a great job to me. Um, the director did a good job. Only person that could have done a better job, but he also did a good job. The writer. Or her. 
whoever she, he or she. <laughs> uh, the writer, but the writer, I, shouts out to the writer also. Damn, I'm, did I ask you what did you? Because you said some writing choices, but did it, can you talk about them without them spoiling it? That no, nah, that's kind of what I was talking about when I was saying I would get into. Oh, it, but okay, it's okay, right, like yeah, a little yeah. spoilerish. Yeah, yeah, I think I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, but we got into a couple things. Um, go watch this movie. See if you enjoy it yourself. Um, and hit the comments. Let us know what you thought about it. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Yeah, all that and good share stuff. share so that we can grow this thing. Yeah. Please. And we're going to see y'all next time.